Imagine my surprise when I noticed that uh, there were two articles in that, in the current issue of it, that were very pertinent to this particular series of videos. Isn't that amazing? Uh, one article was actually titled Free Will, and yeah, it touched on a couple of things that I've touched on in the last few videos, but it wasn't that great an article, I think. But the one article that I thought was really important and that was amazingly close to some of the things that I've been saying and that I'm going to say was an article about the prediction of the behavior of birds in flocks and um, some scientists have 
um, looked at the behavior of flocking birds and one of the things that you will notice about flocking birds is how they tend to suddenly all change direction in midair as if they're all um, been forced by some central force by something that's in control over the whole flock and it tells all the birds at the same time to suddenly same change direction how can that be? Because all the birds, each individual bird, is just doing its own thing. And there is no genie in the bottle. There's, there's no spirit looking after the flock, is there? Well, what these people have uh, discovered is that Basically, the, the, the fact that the birds is not really that important. What is, what is important is that they're individual items flocking together and responding to each other. And what they found is that at the point where the birds behave in a flocking manner, looking at the information that each individual bird has available to them, it's like they have information about essentially every other bird and the very important phrase that cropped up in this article is the phrase phase change this thing keeps popping up in chaotic systems the phrase phase change and it is a bit amazing to think about this when you're looking at such dissimilar types of things as a neural network in your brain, a flock of birds or ice melting, to realize that all of these phenomena are described by very similar mathematical rules. And what is very important about all this is that in those mathematical rules, the phase change is always around the fact that there is this interconnectedness between all the elements taking part in the subject under investigation. Or, for example, in what I uh, looked at in a very old video of mine, where you're looking at a network of nodes, a purely mathematical concept of a network of nodes, where you get random connections between the nodes, and suddenly you get, again, a phase change, where the whole network suddenly becomes interconnected where every node can be reached by any other node and that's a sudden change in the behavior of that network and again it's called a phase change and that is something that's going on in our brain as well because all our, nap all our neurons are individual little things that do their own things according to fairly simple rules but they're connected in this huge network that has that is on this phase change situation. And what has this got to do with formal systems? Let's investigate that next.